What are the daily onboard activities on the MSC Meraviglia? Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Mahmoud. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Why am I making these videos about the MSC Meraviglia when there are so many others out there? Click on the link below to watch my video explaining my reasons. As I was preparing for my first cruise, I tried to find information online about what activities, programs, and schedules are available on whatever ship I wanted to be on, including the MSC Meraviglia. It was difficult to find daily programs or daily schedules or daily planners that were more than three or four years old. So that's why I'm doing this video so folks have access to information about activities that are a bit more up to date. The best place to find the schedules are on things called the daily programs and the daily planner. These are usually papers that are left in the cabin. I have another video that I posted that shows um, the entire daily program and planners and schedules for my entire first cruise on MSC Meraviglia. So please refer back to that video. This is a daily program for day one, which is also embarkation day. And that's a Sunday. And they'll have things like when is the sunrise and sunset. And this section here about all board time and departure time relates to folks who stayed on board uh, during embarkation day and went out for excursions, but are still staying on the ship. For activities, the most relevant page is the insert called the Daily Planner, and you get this one day in advance. So as much as I would like to have seen the daily activities for the whole trip or a few days in advance, you only get it one day at a time. So that's part of the reason why I'm providing this video. On embarkation day, it seems that certain like light activities are available starting at 12 p.m. There could have been other activities before 12 that were available to people who are staying on the ship and not disembarking or embarking that day. You get to have some orientations also on embarkation day. Again, in the afternoon, just a lot of light activities and light meetings. Given that I sailed during the holiday times, there was um, Hanukkah services. And then definitely at 5 p.m., you have the compulsory safety demonstration, also known as the muster drill. There are lots of other YouTube videos out there about the muster drills that happened during COVID, how they're more digital, and they happen in the cabins on a video, and there's a phone call uh, that you make with a code, and then you just go to a location to your muster area, and you just uh, have your card scanned. So definitely check out those videos. And then the sail away party happens. Um, as you leave the port. Though one thing that I will say is it's great to have this piece of paper, but they no longer seem to announce changes to the schedule over the intercom. So you do need to check the app um, on any device that you're using, whether it's you download it onto your own smartphone or you're looking at the big uh, smart TVs and smart screens around the ship. If there's a change in venue, location, or time, it's going to be not on the paper and not an announcement, but on the smart, on the app itself. So this side of the daily planner goes until 6 p.m. or so. And then the other section starts here around 6.30. And in different small venues across the ship, there is small musical gatherings and just bands and very low key. I would describe MSC currently um, during the pandemic as it's supposedly number three in terms of size, but it's just the lifestyle on board is like low key. This is a low key cruise for people who want a low key experience. So it's not a party cruise and it's not a classical cruise. It's they're in the middle and in terms of activities i think it's really great for the introverted personalities who want something and a certain level of entertainment but don't want a party cruise so it seems like especially on embarkation day a lot of the events for the evening start around 6 30 and they can watch my video on the food schedule so there are a variety of activities going on and you can have your evening meal at different times Something that I missed out on and that I hope to do more of in the future is the dome shows. You can check out the MSC Meraviglia's own web 
page that talks about the Galleria Meraviglia and about the LED domes. But the dome shows happen at a couple of times, a couple of different times. They don't seem to be very long, but I was so busy doing other things that I missed most of the dome shows. So here's a theater show, and at this one is unvaccinated guests. So that means kids under 12. And it basically means you have to wear a mask for them. Later on in the evening, it's the same show, it's repeated, and it's vaccinated with the V, so you can take off your mask when you're there. So again, throughout the evening, you'll also have trivia, you'll have um, meetups that are unhosted, you'll have things like this, the perfume shop grand opening, etc., which are also known as shopping presentations. The shops tend to be open in the evening, and the presentations tend to be in the evening, but correct me if I'm wrong. So again, there's an early theater show and there's a late theater show. Nine o'clock is when the dinner services end. They'll have movies um, being shown. And then I made a separate video about the band Off the Record on the Rocks. Please watch that video. And they play multiple nights and they're usually starting at 1030. After a show like that, after a concert like that, there'll still be more opportunities for dancing. These aren't wild, crazy parties. They're, again, very middle-of-the-road parties. Uh, it's much more, you know, there definitely can be extroverts there, but it's much more of a culture for, like, introverts who want some level of entertainment but don't want a party cruise. Again, what I, what I will say is that the venue changed. And it could be for whatever reason, rain, etc., but the, you have it on the paper and you're looking at the paper, but if something changes, it's not going to be announced, it's going to be on the app. So definitely check out the app. And supposedly there's late night dancing with your DJ. The next page that is relevant is the entertainment highlights page, which gives you more details about the type of shows and things you'll see that evening. So that's a great place to make sure you check out and you read. And it'll tell you description of the dome shows each night. This is day two of the cruise, but it's our first day, a full day on the ship. And we're going into Nassau, Bahamas. Here we are again at the Daily Planner, which is a one page insert into your program. The difference is on your first full day, there are some activities early in the morning, things that are a bit more exercise oriented, but then they're just like a light activities. They're uh, informal like meeting for ping pong, etc., things by the pool, etc., cetera, uh, dart games. So they try to keep the morning sort of unscheduled with a few light activities. Going into the afternoon, again, more light, more informal events and activities. There, on day one, there seems to be an earlier dome shows, two of them, hope to catch them in the future. And if we go back into the evening, starting at 6.30, you again, you have the small live music settings in different venues, smaller venues across the ship. You have more meetups, more pre shopping presentations. Uh, this time, the dome shows in the late evening are 8.30 and 10. Here there was a Gatsby Roaring Twenties party. It was vaccinated. I was feeling seasick, so I didn't go. And the other thing is before the cruise, I received no information about the types of parties, the types of theme parties that would happen. So I definitely could have gone if I wasn't seasick, but I didn't know particularly what to wear. And if I had known that it was a Gatsby parties, I might've brought an outfit that was very much aligned with the theme. And again, there seems to be DJs very late at night. Here's day two on the cruise, which is our first day, uh, or this is day three, and this is our first day in Ocean K Marine Reserve, MSC's private island, and we get a separate pl daily planner for activities that are happening on the island. So starting at 10 a.m., uh, there are activities on the island itself, like, like exercise, and kids' activities, live music is definitely happening, certain light athletics is happening. 
definitely lots of music. So one thing that I missed out on that I hope to catch in the future is the parade. There are YouTube videos of the parade and it just seems like a lot of fun. Definitely, you've heard this in other videos, go to the Lighthouse show. It's an LED show. It starts at nine with one show and then there is a dance party and then there's another show at 10. And here is how MSC does its white parties, whereas other ships might do their white parties on their ships, on the Lido deck. Uh, the white party here is um, on the beach by the lighthouse. I have a video uh, also about that, so take a look. It, most people will say, don't miss a light show, don't miss the party. So even though it's the first day at Ocean K, if you don't want to get off the ship, there are still onboard activities for you. Again, in the morning, there are light activities and stretchings. Um, in the afternoon, there's more activities and exercises. There is another dome show at 5.45 and 6.30. In the evenings, again, starting at 6.30, you have your uh, music in different areas of the ship, different venues, shopping presentations, more dome shows at 9 and 10 o'clock. They seem to not have a theater show because there is the parade and the lighthouse shows. There is a movie that's available and after the 10 o'clock light show, while people are still dancing on the island, people can also attend the rock concert, um, the band concert on the ship. And then they can go back out and party on the island itself. Here we are on the third day of a four-day cruise, the second day at Ocean K. If you want to stay on board, there are still activities for you. One thing I keep forgetting to mention is at 6 a.m. they broadcast a TV program on your smart TV on Channel 4. That's Good Day Maravilla. I kept missing it and the cruise director is, is on the program talking about what's happening that day. Definitely watch it. And if you miss it at six, it'll keep playing on your TV at different times. So make sure that you uh, take a few minutes when you wake up um, and watch the program. There's also other types of information about the ship that are presented during that program. So again, light activities in the morning, including exercise and trivia. more shopping presentations in the afternoon, and again, dome shows at 5.45 and 6.30. So on the second day is when you leave Ocean K and you leave at six o'clock. So the evening programs are similar in that starting at 6.30, again, you have music. Here you have a theater show, and this one at seven o'clock is for unvaccinated, so you do have to wear your masks. You have dome shows, shows again at 8.30 and 10. And the same theater shows repeated at 9 o'clock for vaccinated so you can take off your mask. You have more trivia. And again, the cover band uh, plays again at 10.30, uh, which I can't say enough about them. Please watch my video about them and please support them. And then again at night, late at night, there is uh, DJ and more dancing. I want to take you back into the daily program and show you a different section that provides information on more activities. If you go to the page in the daily program called opening hours and you go to this section called well-being and leisure, uh, they give you the times for various spaces and resources within the ship. So the thermal area and the spa is like another activity. And on embarkation day, which this is showing, it's showing that it's open one till nine or 9.30, which is interesting because on the next days, you'll see that it's open much earlier. So this presentation could be just for people who are embarking that day. The one thing to notice is the Himalayan Bridge and Polar Aqua Park are seem to be closed. And there was a YouTube video where someone went to the bridge and to the park and he got there and it was closed and it made me think did that happen because a schedule wasn't read did it happen because there was an issue with staff availability or did it happen because 
it was closed on embarkation day. So it raises lots of questions. But here on embarkation day, you'll see that the gym is available one to six, seven to nine. Obviously there's a break in between for the staff and for cleaning. And then you'll see where the three pools are open. And what I like about MSC Maravilla ships is that the pools are near each other. So I don't have to walk far distances to get from one place to the other place. And you can take a look at all the other activities that are available. And I'll sc scroll down here for the youth areas to see what the timings are on the embarkation day. Now we're back in the daily program for our Nassau day, which is day two of the cruise, but the f uh, first full day. When you go back to opening hours page, you're gonna see the full scope of the services that are available. So the thermal area is nine to nine and the spa is 8.30 to 9.30 and the gym opens at seven. One of the things that I was looking for when I was planning the cruise is if I wanna be in the gym and how do I match that up with when the food services are available. So if you're a person who likes to work out before you have breakfast, it's hard to tell beforehand uh, what the timings would be and how you would coordinate that in your schedule. And that's part of the reason I'm doing videos like this. So you can be in the gym as early as seven and up till nine o'clock. Obviously there are breaks for cleaning and for staff meals. Again, the pools are open eight to eight. There were YouTube criticisms that the pools close early, but in those videos, they weren't very clear about what early meant. So this is my first cruise, so I don't know if pools and other places are open until 10 or 11. I just didn't know what early meant, but this is what the schedule is on Maravilla during COVID. I don't quite know what it means to schedule the Sportsplex. Uh, you can find out about the Sportsplex through the MSC website itself and through YouTube videos, but it's not clear to me how you go about scheduling that. So compared to the embarkation day, here is when the Himalayan Bridge and Polo Aqua Park is open. So it's basically 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with breaks in between. And so this is pretty consistent. What you're seeing here is fairly consistent for most of the crews. And again, this is the youth area. So here's what the internal schedule looks like for your first day at Ocean. So we're back to opening hours. And they seem pretty consistent, even though most people might be on the island, these times seem pretty consistent with a normal onboard schedule. And here's the youth areas. Here's our second day at Ocean K, the day that we're leaving. Again, the timings for well-being and leisure activities seem to be unaffected by the fact that we are at Ocean K including the youth areas. And because this is the day that we're leaving, uh, we don't get information about what's open on the last day, which is embarkation day. So even though my trip was a short trip on the MSC Maravilla, I still recommend that people pay good attention to the paper programs that are available as well as to the app, which shows the changes. Take a look every day at your daily program your daily planner, and your entertainment highlights so you can make the most of your experience on board. Thank you for watching my video. I'd love to hear from you on email at fmahmood at wellesley.edu. You can also find me on LinkedIn at that address. And if you do send me a connection request, please go ahead and send me a note. Before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And please go ahead and watch my next video. Thank you.